my name is Rihanna Mokar Scott. The title of the story is Infestation. Dearest slumlord, the ceiling in the kitchen cracked and split, and from the black abyss, in between the clouds of plaster, dived a team of brown water bugs the, si the size of baby mice. Each thwip, thwip, thwip of their wings raised in me a light shudder. I stood mesmerized, watching a paratroopers cascade. After a minute, I scrambled for the nearly empty can of bug spray stashed in the cabinet beneath the sink, and I sprayed, catching two or three as they descended. Their bug wings stopped in mid-flight, and the, and the pestilence tumbled to the floor, where they seized and convulsed and spun on their backs, before lying still, save for a few stray twitches. The water bugs are already on the floor, scattered while I tried to reach them with the can's sputtering stream. In the broken ceiling, the comrades surveyed the damage, the damage of the scene. The bugs aimed backward, thinking better of their plan descent. And then they made their retreat deep into the abyss, where it remained safe. It's about a person uh, who, who's, who's living in a, in a place that's overrun with uh, with vermin, and um, he's uh, he, he's writing to his to his landlord um, in hopes of getting some sort of uh, relief. <laughs> um, I was inspired by um, a number of places that I that I lived over the years, which were um, overrun by various. Uh, <laughs> various vermin. Um, the the opening to the story is actually um, a recollection of, of looking up into the ceiling, which had fallen apart, and seeing um, water bugs uh, fly fly down. So the the first couple paragraphs are actually nonfiction, but you know I've, I've lived with mice and um, um, uh, mice and uh, roaches and and uh, bed bugs, which was, which was the absolute worst. Um, and uh, so I, I wanted to, to write, to do something with that in fiction. Uh, not very long. Um, it was it was very quick once once it started. Um, yeah, I remember I remember writing the opening, um, and uh, and and that was like I said, that was a memory. So it was so much. It was, that was basically transcribing a, a memory. Uh, so that happened pretty quickly, and I think the the rest of it, once I started fictionalizing, followed pretty, um, maybe, I don't know, maybe a week or so. Um, you know, I think I think what makes us flash and 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 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and longer stories. Um, successful often opposite um, uh, with Flash um, it, it's usually doing one thing, one or two things well, I don't think you need to master every every single or every single element of fiction doesn't necessarily need to be there um, for Flash um, and uh, I, I think if you, you you master one or two uh, things well, whether it be character or, or, or description um, you can have a very successful Flash fiction. Uh, for longer pieces I think um, there, you you, you want to um, you want to have you know memorable characters. Um, uh, it, to me, it usually starts with characters, and then um, shortly after that, it follows with a uh, with language, um, you know, very strong verbs. Um, you know, move moves move. Very strong verbs help the scene move, but it also helps helps uh, stories get stuck in in the in your memory. I would say know the market. Um, have uh, read it. Um, have have read that market several times. Um, I'm sorry. Read a lot of stories from that from that market so you know uh, if your story fits in. Um, and, uh, and you know, I, I would say submit widely. Um, but uh, but you know, always make sure you know if, you, if if you're trying to publish a. Uh, uh, a romance story probably not a good idea submitted to a science fiction journal. There's a very long title. Um, uh, uh, the case of the strange case of, of Lewis Smith, uh, or something like that. Um, it was a story was written as a um, written as a, a scientific report. 
Um, and uh, and I, I think I was very surprised to get to actually get paid from it because I published a lot of stuff in non-paying markets. It's actually called Party Animal, the strange and savage case of a once erudite and eloquent young man in, in a published in a journal called Confrontation. <laughs> Bed bugs. Uh, yeah, I moved into this apartment and um, and all of a sudden I started seeing um, welts, um, you know, b- pop up on my skin, and I had no idea because you can't see them; they're 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 invisible. Um, and uh, well, they're not really invisible, but they're they're very good at hiding. And um, and uh, yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what the problem was, and I, I you know it activated my anxiety <laughs> really badly. And um, yeah. And so I had to empty out the entire apartment, put everything in bags. Um, it, it was a, it was an experience that I, I would never want to duplicate. Wow! I remember we used to we used to uh, write letters <laughs> back in the day. Um, I had a written letter. Wow. Um, no, I don't. I don't remember the last time I did a handwritten letter. Sombrero. No more kings. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my man Todd Sullivan.